What if I told you that an African-built electric vehicle has just accomplished something so shocking that it left engineers from Silicon Valley to Tokyo speechless? What if I told you this car drove for 10,000 miles straight across deserts, cities, highways, and rugged terrain without stopping even once for a recharge? This isn't a science fiction story. This is the reality of a breakthrough coming out of Zimbabwe, where innovator Maxwell Chikumbutso has stunned the world once again with his revolutionary self-powered electric vehicle. The journey began as a quiet test, away from the noise of mainstream media. But by the time the car had crossed multiple borders and racked up thousands of miles, whispers of the achievement had already started to spread like wildfire. Imagine an electric car that doesn't rely on charging stations. Imagine a vehicle that doesn't wait for hours plugged into the grid. Imagine freedom from the constant anxiety of running out of range on a long road trip. That's exactly what Maxwell's self-powered EV has now demonstrated. 10,000 miles without charging isn't just a milestone. It is a direct challenge to the entire global EV industry. For years, the biggest question haunting electric cars has been range anxiety. Drivers worry about how far they can go before needing to plug in. Automakers spend billions improving battery chemistry, building supercharging networks, and promising longer ranges. But Maxwell Chikambutso approached the problem from a different angle. Instead of asking how to make batteries larger, heavier, and more expensive, he asked how to make a vehicle that powers itself. At first, skeptics dismissed the idea. They said perpetual motion doesn't exist. They said free energy was impossible. But as this vehicle cruised past the 1,000 mile mark, then the 5,000 mile mark, and finally the 10,000 mile mark, doubt began turning into uneasy curiosity. Engineers who had once laughed at the concept were suddenly asking for technical data. Governments who once ignored Chikambutso's claims started sending representatives to witness demonstrations. And ordinary people began to ask the most important question of all. What if this changes everything? The route chosen for the 10,000 mile journey wasn't a simple loop around a test track. It cut across Africa, from busy cities filled with traffic jams to remote highways where fuel stations are scarce. The car climbed steep mountain roads, endured scorching desert heat, and pushed through torrential rains. Yet through it all, the battery gauge remained steady. No charging cables. No pit stops for electricity. Just continuous motion powered by the car's own internal energy system. Drivers who took turns behind the wheel described the experience as surreal. They expected at some point the car would lose power or at least show signs of slowing down. But instead, it kept pulling forward, mile after mile, with smooth acceleration and quiet operation. The technology behind the car is as mysterious as it is groundbreaking. Maxwell has long hinted at a unique energy generator that harvests power from radio frequencies and electromagnetic waves. This means the car essentially taps into an invisible ocean of energy that surrounds us all the time. Rather than storing massive amounts of energy in heavy batteries, the vehicle continuously generates power as it moves. Think of it as a car that sips electricity from the environment the way a wind turbine captures breeze or a solar panel drinks sunlight. Except in this case, it isn't limited by weather conditions. It works in daylight or darkness. It works in rain or shine. It works wherever you go. For drivers, this means total freedom from the grid. No more searching for charging points. No more planning trips around plug-in stops. No more expensive upgrades to home electrical systems just to own an EV. And perhaps most importantly, no more dependence on fossil fuels. The implications of this achievement go far beyond transportation. If a car can power itself for 10,000 miles without recharging, then what else can be self-powered? Homes? Factories? Entire cities? Suddenly, the vision of an Africa that leapfrogs traditional energy infrastructure doesn't look like a dream. It looks like a roadmap. Critics are scrambling to find holes in the story. They argue it must be a publicity stunt. They demand proof, lab results, and peer-reviewed studies. And yet, the undeniable fact remains. A working prototype has driven 10,000 miles without charging once. No traditional EV manufacturer has ever come close to such a feat Tesla, Rivian, BYD, Toyota. All of them still rely on large battery packs and external charging. But Maxwell's car has sidestepped the entire problem. 
To some, this feels like magic. To others, it feels like disruption. Because if self-powered EVs become mainstream, billions of dollars invested in charging infrastructure could become obsolete overnight. Oil markets could collapse faster than anyone predicted. Countries that depend on fossil fuel exports could see their economies shaken. And automakers that spent decades perfecting hybrid and electric battery technologies might suddenly find themselves behind the curve. For Africa, however, this breakthrough is something more. It is proof that innovation doesn't only come from Silicon Valley or Shenzhen. It is proof that homegrown solutions can rewrite the future. And it is proof that one man's vision can ripple across the globe. As the 10,000-mile journey concluded, the final destination wasn't just a symbolic finish line. It was a message to the world. A message that Africa has entered the race for the future of energy and transportation, and it might already be ahead. The car rolled to a stop in front of cheering crowds. Journalists scrambled to capture every angle. Some people touched the hood as if to confirm it was real. Others shook their heads in disbelief, whispering to each other that they had just witnessed history. Maxwell himself stood quietly beside the vehicle, watching the reaction unfold. For him, this wasn't about fame or headlines. It was about proving that the impossible could be done. And now that it has been proven, the question becomes, what happens next? Will this technology be scaled for mass production? Will governments support it or suppress it? Will automakers embrace it or fight it? History tells us that disruptive technologies rarely follow a smooth path. They face resistance, skepticism, and sometimes even sabotage. But history also tells us that once an idea takes hold, it cannot be erased. The self-powered EV is no longer an idea. It is a reality. And 10,000 miles without charging is the proof. This single journey has redefined what is possible. And if you think about it, it has also redefined what is inevitable. Because once people have seen a car drive without charging, how can they ever look at traditional EVs the same way again? It's like showing someone the internet after they've only known newspapers, or handing them a smartphone after years of landlines. There is no going back. This is the turning point. This is the revolution. And it started in Africa. The buzz has already begun spreading across international media. In the US, analysts are calling emergency meetings to assess the potential disruption. In Europe, auto giants are nervously calculating what this could mean for their factories and supply chains. In Asia, governments are eyeing potential collaborations and competition. And in Africa, people are celebrating not just the achievement but the possibility of becoming energy independent for the first time in history. The car itself, sleek and modern, now carries a story greater than its design. It carries the hope of millions who believe in a future free from the chains of oil dependency. It carries the challenge to industries that have grown too comfortable with slow innovation. And it carries the undeniable proof that the next great leap in technology can come from anywhere. 10,000 miles without charging is more than a record. It is a declaration. A declaration that Africa has arrived in the future of technology. A declaration that innovation is borderless. And a declaration that the world must pay attention. Because whether they are ready or not, the age of self-powered vehicles has begun. And it all started with one man, one vision, and one car that refused to stop. The weeks following the 10,000-mile achievement turned into a storm of speculation. Some called it the dawn of a new industrial revolution. Others called it a hoax too big to be true. But the undeniable fact was that people had seen the car drive. They had watched it move without charging. And they had followed its journey across thousands of miles of terrain. Social media became the battlefield where believers and skeptics clashed. Videos of the car driving were replayed millions of times. Clips of Maxwell standing beside the vehicle circulated with captions calling him the African Tesla. In WhatsApp groups across Africa, People shared rumors that the car would soon be available to the public. Some said it would cost less than a Toyota. Others claimed governments were already trying to block it. The truth, as always, was more complicated. Scaling a breakthrough from prototype to production isn't simple. Factories have to be built. Supply chains have to be established. Regulations have to be navigated. 
and most of all, powerful industries have to be challenged. For oil companies, this technology is a direct threat. For battery manufacturers, it undermines billions in research. For car makers, it rewrites the rules they've been playing by for decades. But for ordinary people, it means liberation. Imagine never having to pay for fuel again. Imagine never worrying about energy shortages. Imagine a car that pays for itself simply by running. For rural Africa, the implications are even greater. Communities cut off from reliable. Electricity grids could now leapfrog into a future of self-sufficient transport. Farmers could transport goods without worrying about fuel prices. Students could travel long distances without fearing the bus would break down from lack of fuel. Even emergency vehicles like ambulances could operate without delay. The ripple effect would be massive. But the real question now is whether the world will let it happen. History is filled with stories of groundbreaking inventions that were buried by powerful interests. And yet, history is also filled with inventions that broke through every obstacle and reshaped society. The printing press, the light bulb, the airplane, the internet, each one was doubted, each one was resisted, and each one eventually became unstoppable. Maxwell's self-powered EV now stands at that same crossroads. 10,000 miles without charging is more than a number. It is a signal that the world has changed forever. Even if the car never enters mass production, the idea has been planted. And once an idea is planted, it grows. It inspires engineers, inventors, and dreamers across the globe to think differently. It forces industries to adapt. And it reminds people that innovation can come from unexpected places. Africa is no longer just a consumer of technology. It is a creator. It is a disruptor. And it is a leader. As the dust settles on the 10,000-mile journey, one thing is clear. The self-powered car has proven itself. And now, the race begins to decide who will shape the future it has unlocked. Because the world has seen what is possible. And once you've seen a car drive forever without charging, you can never unsee it.